Hello friends and welcome back to a new video of Gripolis. Today we will be discussing which troop types are the best according to their attributes and as you should know by now each troop has certain attributes they're either blunt, sharp or distant and uh, we will be starting with uh, sharp weapons we have uh, four main troops that are very efficient in uh, the use of sharp weapons and we'll be talking about the bendusas the hoplites and chariots and the manticores so i'm not gonna show you guys the calculation i'm not gonna do the calculation for each troop type so i don't bore you but basically medusas are have the highest value then come the manticores with not a very big difference and then the hoplites then the chariots but it's very notable to take into consideration that the chariots are way faster than the hoplites if you want to be to build landlocked new nukes without um, building transports and uh, they can carry a lot of flute so they can be very efficient for farming then we're going to move on to blunt weapons we have horsemen we have griffins and we have harpies for this one griffins have the highest attack value then the harpies with a bit of a dif difference and then horsemen harpies and horsemen don't have a lot of um, attack value difference but we can see that the harpies are way more efficient for carrying loot and uh, if you were looking for looting cities quickly, um, harpies are way better because they're faster and they can carry uh, more loot. And for the third troop type, it's the distant. There are practically two very good um, attacking distant to, uh, troop types, which are the slingers and the irines, which are... Um, a Hades uh, mythical unit. They cost a lot of favor, but they outweigh all of all the other troop types. If we divide the troop um, attack value by the population, we get the value of one population. It has the highest by a big margin, so building one nuke of these would be really effective along with some spells. They would destroy DLU, and we have Slingers, which are a must um, for every player. They, ha they should have plenty of Slinger nukes along with Catapults, So, but overall, the winner for the distant uh, weapons is the Hades Mythical Unit. Then we're going to go uh, to the naval units. Um, as we see, we have Hydras, which are the only naval mythical unit. And they're the mythical unit for Poseidon. That makes four troop types to compare with. So for attacking, we have the light ships, we have the triremes and we have the hydras for the highest attack value it's actually the hydras but one downside is that they're really slow so that that's that's kind of a problem but then we have the light ships the light ships have a pretty decent attack value and they have a better attack value than the um, ts so ls actually win over TS, but Hydras are the highest ranking. But I really advise that you don't build them because for attacks, you really need to be very efficient, attack quickly, and and the uh, light chips are better because you can build them faster with Aristotle or with other heroes, and um, they don't need favor. So, and Hydras are better in defense along with the bears. So for the defensive naval units, Hydras again win, and it's by a pretty good margin, not large, but decent. And Bears win over TS. TS are um, the losing naval unit in both attack and defense, but 
uh, they're really effective in conquest worlds where you could stack them in a city um, they could defend you're not uh, obliged to dodge them but they could serve very good with uh, landing conquest attacks etc but they're for nukes they're not really effective although they're fast um, compared to LS for attacks they're a bit faster but I wouldn't trade only eight movement speed for the attack value because the attack value difference between the LS and the TS is pretty big so uh, that's everything for today thank you for uh, watching this guys if you um, like the video please go ahead and like and subscribe and if you have any questions I'm uh, gonna answer them in the comments see you guys